Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. This video is going to show you how to write the VBA code that will merge all the Excel files in a specific folder into one workbook. So I've got a folder called Bank Statements and I've got Bank Statements for 12 months of the year, all existing on a single sheet within those workbooks. I want to combine all of those sheets and those different workbooks into a single workbook, the workbook that I'm currently in. So let's close this down and look at the sub procedure that I've already started. All I've done is declare a couple of variables for you. One for the folder path as a string and one is the, for the file within that folder path. And that's also declared as a string. So the folder path is defined as a folder on my desktop, that's where all the bank statements are. Now, the file variable, what that's got to do is refer to a particular file within that folder. Now, to refer to the first file in that folder, I can use a function called dir, do, or directory, or however it's said. And all I have to do is give it a path name so I can say folder path. Now what that will do is it will pick out the first file name within that folder path. If I wanted to refer to subsequent files in that folder path, I would just use the same function but with nothing within the brackets and that would pick out the second folder path and then if a uh, second file name then if I used it again the third file name so it's important you understand that because we're going to have to loop through all of the files within our folder using this line of code here to pick up subsequent file names we'll need this line of code further on down our sub procedure so I'll leave it there for the moment so I need some way of looping through all of the files in this folder. And I'm going to do that with a do while loop. So I'm going to say do while file. So the file name is not empty. And then I can end that loop. But I'm going to end it actually underneath that line of code. So I'm going to just say loop. The first thing I need to do within this loop is to open up each individual workbook. So I'm going to say uh, workbook.open, workbooks.open, and the particular workbook that I want to open is obviously in the folder path that I defined earlier on, and then concatenated with the name of the file. Now, once I've opened up that workbook, I want to copy the sheet that is within that workbook to this workbook. So I'm going to say active workbook dot worksheets and all of the data is in the first sheet. So that's simple. I'm going to then say copy. I'm going to come down the line so it's just easier for you to read. And then I'm going to specify where I want the worksheet to be copied to. So I'm going to say after a sheet within this workbook, the workbook that I'm writing the code in, dot worksheets. And what I want it to do is to copy it to the end of the workbook. So in other words, after all ex uh, current worksheets, worksheets that are currently in the workbook. So I can say this workbook dot worksheets dot count. So that will just count the number of workbook, uh, worksheets that are, there are currently are within the workbook. The next thing I want to do is to name the sheet that I've copied to this workbook. Now what I want to do is borrow the name of the actual workbook that I'm copying the sheet from. So the sheets will be named by the month of the year. So I can do that quite simply. I can say active sheet name equals 
Well, if I just did the whole file name, it would include the file extension, which is xlsx. So I'm going to use the replace function to get rid of that. I'm going to say, well, it will be the file name, but I want to replace the dot xl sx part of the file name with an empty text string so that'll just leave the abbreviated form of the month as the sheet name and then the last thing i want to do is close the workbook that i've copied the sheet from so that'll be the particular file that's just been opened and i can just close it so I now need to repeat this set of actions for the next file within this directory. So this is where this little line of code that we wrote earlier on comes useful, because I can then specify that file is equal to the next file within this folder path. So the only thing left for me to do is to sort the sheets that have been imported into this workbook in month order. At the moment, they'll just be in the order that they were imported from the folder, which won't be correct. I'm going to declare another variable for this as a, a counter that I need for a for next statement, which is going to basically loop through all of the sheets and sort them in the correct order. So I'll just call the counter i, so I'll say dim i as long. Then I'll come down here and I'm going to say um, for, for i equals 1 to 12, 12 months in a year. So for the first i, what I want to do is refer to the January sheet. Now I can do that using the month name function which is pretty simple to use. You've got two arguments. The first asks you for like a number for the month. So if I specified one, that would be January to February. Well, I'm not going to hard code one in there. I'm going to use the value of I, which in the first instance would be one. And then the second argument asks you whether the months are abbreviated. Well, mine are, my file names are abbreviated. So I'm going to write true in there. OK, so now I've specified which file I want to move. I can then specify where I want to move it. So I can say after, but I want to move it to the end of the workbook after all existing sheets. So I can say worksheets and the sheet I want to move it after is the last sheet, so I can say worksheets dot count. And then last of all, I just need to say next. Next, and it will loop through each of the month names and move it to its appropriate place. OK, let's play the macro. Uh, probably bring up some errors in the code before it will work, but if I play it, yeah, that should be what books. Let's play again. And it's starting to do its job in the background. So you can see that all the sheets have been imported into the workbook and they're all in month order and the macro has indeed worked. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training.